And welcome back to Good Day Marketplace. Marketplace Outdoors, we're flying to Wild Birds Unlimited in Dublin today. Visit with Elisa Henry again. Have you picked out your uh, bird feeder yet? I love this one. That bird bath is Aww. beautiful. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. And I am here with Tom, who is the owner of Wild Birds Unlimited. It's on Sawmill Road. If you're familiar, it used to be on Riverside Drive. They've moved to a brand new location. It's beautiful right here on Sawmill. Now, Tom, it's cold outside, and that gets us thinking about winter. So what's the proper way to care for a bird at this time of year? Well, birds are no different than in any other living thing. They need food. They need water. They need shelter. Mm -hmm. uh, we recommend feeding responsibly year-round, but in particular in the winter, we want to have good, healthy food, um, high-calorie, high-oil-based seeds like sunflower, suets, um, peanuts, peanut suet butter cakes, and jelly. peanut <laughs> butter and jelly. <laughs> yeah, this is a great one for uh, this time of year. Uh, we, we have a new food product called Seed Cylinders, which are compressed seed with gelatin. Uh, it's a great no-mess way to uh, feed the birds out in the yard. We recommend having open water for them. And to do that when it's cold, you mm -hmm. want to have a heated bird bath. Uh, this is an actual bird bath with a heater built in. This is a heating element that can go into an existing bath and wow. keep open some water so that they can have something fresh to drink and, and bathe with uh, in the coldest of weather. Uh, we also recommend checking out your feeders. You want to keep them free of, of ice and snow during uh -huh. the winter. Um, you want to have something that can clean very easily, so these pop-out bottoms are great. Uh, you also want to think about putting a weather cap over the feeders, and that protects them from rain and snow, the elements. How many birds will this attract? Like, I'm imagining putting this in my backyard and there being a thousand birds. Is that going to happen, or is it, you know, some people don't want, like, a big bird fest in their backyard, but will <laughs> it attract, you know, maybe just a few birds, or will it be a ton of birds on it? Well, a lot of it depends on your habitat. Okay. Everybody's backyard's different. Okay. If you have a lot of shelter, you, you won't get thousands, but you may get, uh, you know, dozens of birds coming in. There's, the kids will like that, though. That's oh, the kids cool. love it, yeah, and, and it's an adult. I mean, I started with my mom when I was young. Uh, it's blossomed into our family business here, and our son is a next generation coming on. So wow. uh, it's, it really is a rewarding hobby. And when people are watching right now, they're thinking they want to come out and see you here at Wild, Wild Birds Unlimited. What can you do for them if they're just maybe getting started with feeding birds? Well, we like to ask a few questions mm -hmm. first, find out what their backyard is like, what kind of birds we can expect. And then we can customize the feeding station, the feeders, the seed. Uh, the watering situation. Um, truly, it is a, a custom situation where we can outfit you with the, the right product for the right birds and, and give you the utmost enjoyment of the hobby. Wow, well, thank you so much, Tom. Before we go, we were talking about bird calls. You have a really sweet bird call whistle, right? It's a little bird whistle. Yeah, let's check that out really quick. <whistles> that is neat. Now, Sean, I know you don't have a sophisticated thing like this, no, but you can do your own bird call, right? I have this let's thing called a voice box. <laughs> That's actually really good. Thank you. They're coming. Yeah. <laughs>